Update 11 on Typhoon Hagapit, Philippine name Ruby. Uh, with winds of 125 miles per hour and a pressure of 941 millibars, it's still a Category 3 storm high end at that. Its position's 12 degrees north, 125.8 degrees east. As of 2 p.m. UTC, December the 6th, 10 p.m. Uh, in the Philippines. The storm is on the verge of making landfall on the island of Samar, the northern part of the island, and is likely to do so near this intensity and then move inland uh, towards the west or west-northwest uh, over the other islands of Masbate and possibly southern Luzon uh, as it continues towards uh, the west northwest other islands such as uh, Romblon and Mindoro may also see a close call or indeed a landfall in the next uh, 48 hours or so. Storms are expected to weaken into a tropical storm as it enters the South China Sea, but as for now it's still a strong Category 3 storm. Signal 3 warnings in effect for the island of Biliran as well now, uh, just north of Leyte. Uh, Leyte itself still under Signal 2 warnings, Signal 3 warnings in, in effect for Samar, Masbate and South Eastern. Uh, Luzon as well. Uh, signal 1 warnings extend all across the southern coast of Luzon at this time and as far west as Mindoro. Uh, sea surface temperatures remain fairly warm, around 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's been the case for some time. Uh, still warm on the other side of the Philippines as well, so there may be a little window for intensification once it does clear the Philippines, but we'll see about that. Of course, due to land interaction and its slower movement, the storm is weakening. Uh, wind shear is not doing too many favours either. It is low to moderate, uh, but it doesn't take very much wind shear to uh, weaken a storm. And it's certainly the case on the northern part of the storm, as you can see on this imagery, as well as the dry air as well in the area over Taiwan and China and also towards the east too. But the storm itself, the core, is well and truly intact. The computer models, the CMC, predicts that the storm will uh, cross the Philippines, pretty much a straight line through um, northern Samar to Mindoro and, be and beyond, um, and then out into the Ch South China Sea, where it could intensify a bit more before making landfall in Vietnam. The GFS computer model uh, takes the storm into northern Samar and then uh, towards Manila before weakening and then turning towards the southwest, and another typhoon possibly for the Philippines behind that, I'm afraid to say, uh, could be the situation situation that we'll be seeing in around five or six days time. The latest satellite imagery, you can see how the eye has pretty much disappeared once again, uh, but the center of the storm is very close indeed to the island of Samar, the central core, the eye wall is probably being experienced on the island now, certainly extremely heavy rainfall over most of Samar and indeed northernmost Leyte as well. Um, and so we'll be seeing heavy rain over there, strong winds I should imagine to typhoon strength already, uh, gusting or even sustained to category 3 intensity, winds of 115 miles per hour or higher and gusts possibly to category 4 intensity, 130 miles per hour plus. Um, and rain, heavy rainfall extending uh, as towards the west-northwest as well uh, to Masbate and southeastern Luzon. December the 6th at 2pm UTC, not much going on elsewhere around the world except some extratropical systems affecting California and the Atlantic. Uh, so Hagapit is the only thing going on in the Eastern Hemisphere. Um, and is expected, of course, to move through the Philippines as a significant typhoon. 77 tropical storms have formed around the world so far in 2014. 44 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes, or their equivalents, around the world with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher. And 26 have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour. Plus, of course, Hagapit is number 26, which is an above average number. Um, and I shouldn't imagine that we'll see too many more this year. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, is the main place to be on all the uh, latest goings on around the world storm-wise. Of course, the video pages will keep you regularly updated also, as will the social pages too, uh, with quick-fire updates on there as well, uh, as we get them at Force 13 on Twitter. You can also speak to me on Skype personally at Force 13 for a tropical weather chat on there. Uh, the upload schedule, update number 12, will follow at 8pm UTC December the 6th and 13 at 2am on December the 7th. That's 4am and 10am local time in the Philippines. That's all for now for the times to be decided.